what I want to show now is all the servers that we have because we know that the data is loaded. So if you right click and inspect this a little bit, we should see an object as you can see here. And then we have the data inside of it. We have all the servers. So all of our data is in here, as you can see. So we can show all this information on the UI. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe minimize this a little bit. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And what I need to do is to just loop over all this array and then print all the information, as you can see here, that we need to show to the user. And we're going to do this in the table body. So what I'm going to do inside of the body is to just loop over everything. So I'm going to do an ng4. So we're going to do ng4. And let's say let server. So we're going to call every item in the array a server because it's a list of servers. And then we're going to say of, and then we're going to call the app state. And then we need to go inside of the app data uh, that's supposed to be the app data and then inside of the app data we have the data and then inside of the data which is an object we have all the servers and if we want to get the index we can say let i equal index so i'm not going to use the index in this case but i just want to show you you can get the index as well so this is how we're going to loop inside of the application state to get all of the servers so if this is a little bit confusing, I'm going to show you what we're doing. So let's go back to the component. So we're looping over uh, all the servers inside of the application data, which means that this object that we have in the UI is the entire objects that represent the application data. So what we need to do is we need to go inside of the app data, which is of type T. In our case, we're passing in this type, the custom HTTP response. So our data, so our app data in this case is T which is the custom HTTP response. And if we go inside of that, we have this data object. And inside of this data object is where we have all of our servers. So that's why we have to go through the application state, go inside of the app data, and then go inside of the data, and then go inside of the servers. So we're looping over all the servers. And then at this point, we can just show all this information that we have to show here. So I'm gonna put double curly braces for string interpolation. And then we need to say server, dot IP address and I'm going to copy this and then highlight this and do double curly braces and then just paste this. So server dot name and then we're going to do it again for the memory. We're going to say memory and we're also going to do it for the type. So highlight it, double curly braces, space, paste and then space again. Just to test this out, let's go back to the browser and see if we have anything. And as you can see, we have all the information here already. So we have all of our information. So let's fill out all the rest of the information so that we can have a working UI. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and add the image. So here I'm going to say this is the server that image URL. So image URL and we can use the uh, property here so we can say bracket. All right, that should work. And we can do the same for the alt that we have on the image tag. So we're going to say alt also put this inside bracket and then we're going to give this the name of the server so we're going to say server dot name so in case that we can't load this image then this is going to be the name of the server that we're going to show if for some reason we can't load that image so now if we go back we should see all the images are there so let's go ahead and work on the status so the status is going to go in here so we can copy this right there and then go in this badge and then paste it and then we're gonna say status so we're gonna say status just like that and if we go back we'll let this load we're gonna see server up server down server up server down so what i want to do is i want to show server up or server down but i don't want to show the underscore so i'm gonna close this and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see clearly so we have this underscore, which is the way it is in the back end because we have server underscore up, server underscore down. But I don't want to show this. I want to show server space up or server space down. I don't want this underscore because I want to make this more user friendly. And also we need to add a different CSS class depending on, you know, the server is up or if the server is down. So let's go ahead and work on that. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and we need to add another class, but dynamically. So I'm going to put a space and then go down. And then I'm going to use ng class. So I'm going to say ng class because we need to add a class dynamically. And then I'm going to put it in bracket. And then I'm going to set it equal to another bracket. And then what I want to do is to check the status of the server. So I'm going to say server. So the server in the loop, check the status. And then I want to see if the status equal the server up. And we can use the same enum that we used for the data state. So let's go back here and I'm going to do another read only. So read only. And we're going to say status 
and set this equal to the status. So that's the enum that we created that's coming from our enum. And just to remind you, if I go inside of this class, that's the enum that we're using inside of the interface that we created for the server. So if we go back again inside of the server, uh, not the service, so in the interface, servers, remember we're using the status for the status of the server. So that can be either server up or server down as you can see here server up or server down or all but we're not using this all we're only using this all in the front end we're only using server up and server down in the back end and since they have the same name you can see that i named them the same the same in the back end and the front end so that means i can use this in the front end as well when i do a comparison it's not going to break because i give them the same name so i'm going to close all this and we're going to go back to the ui and Again, I need to bring this in and that's what I just did here so that I can use it in the UI. So I'm going to copy this, go back here, oops, and paste it in and we're going to check for server up. So I'm going to do that server. It's auto completing for me because I'm using a type. So I'm checking to see if it's server up. So I'm going to put a question mark and I'm going to scroll this over a little bit so you can see. So I'm going to say if the server is up, then add this class. And I'm going to put a space because I don't want this to be the same because if you don't put the space, then this badge is going to be one string. So make sure you put a space and then we want badge success. So we're going to say badge dash success. And those are our bootstrap classes and I'm sure you guys are familiar with those. And then I'm going to put a colon and then do badge danger so that it can be red. And I'm going to copy this, paste it here and change this to danger. And then again, for the status, we can do something similar because I don't want to show this server underscore up. I want to show server up without the underscore. So let's do something similar. We're going to check to see if the status is up. So I'm just going to copy all of this and then paste it in here. You can do the same in here as well. So we check to see if the status is up. Then we're going to say server up. So let's just copy this and here we don't need the space and we're just going to remove the underscore just like that. And if this is not the case, then we're going to say server down. So we're going to do server down. So instead of showing the actual status, which is going to be server underscore up or server underscore down, we're checking to see if it's server up, then we're going to show this string instead. Otherwise, we're going to show this string. And of course, we're doing the same by adding a class dynamically, which is going to be the badge success if the server is up, which is going to be green or badge danger if the server is down. So now if we go back, everything should work and you can see we have server up without the underscore and then it's green, server down without the underscore and then it's red. So our UI is coming together nicely. And the next thing I want to work on is this ping right here because we don't want to show the loading and the little ping icon or the little router icon at the same time. We only want to show one and then whenever they ping one server, we're going to show the loading only for this specific server. So let's go ahead and work on that.